Hello everybody and welcome back to Zilonka. So we are about to harvest a canola field. I don't know if we actually have a second field to do. If we do, then we should probably rest uh, and then get it done in the next day. But no, it looks like it isn't. There's nothing which is close. So it's just this double field here. It is technically one field now. Uh, so we'll get the tractor taken over to there to begin with. And of course we're going to have to rent the combine harvester, but it's not going to be anything super big because it doesn't need to be um, so yeah we'll just uh, have this on standby pop it here okay and into harvesters it just needs to be something like uh, well this actually is perfectly adequate it is in fact the starting machine we're going to try and do this without having a header trailer we should be able to achieve that fairly easily, hopefully. Um, right, so, yeah, let's attach to that and we'll get it on its way. We do have lots of fertilizer stacking up here. The reason for that is because I accidentally assumed that the drill which we're using took solid fertilizer, or granular fertilizer, and actually it took liquid fertilizer. So that was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, unfolding it first does tend to help. It's not a small field, but it's nothing which we need to have a super big combine for. So really, this field is set up perfectly for a worker. So I think we will just put on a worker to begin with. Uh, I need to obviously make sure that all the cows are okay. Uh, the chickens are not okay, but we don't actually have the grain ready for them. So we'll have to wait. Yep, they're all good. Uh, I could do with a bit of a top up of water though, at the uh, the one which doesn't have water plumbed in. So if we just attach to the tanker, I suppose this is going to be the best tractor for the job. And if we do have any more space for total mix ration, we can drop that off. Um, let's just see here. Give it a boost. Splendid, okay. Right, yes, yeah, so this whole area is going to be turned into another yard in the future. Uh, there is our water tanker. It's probably empty. I think I did actually uh, empty the whole lot into the trough in a previous episode. So we'll have to go back over to the little pond which is over in that direction, I think. Yeah. And we'll get it filled up. There's two percent. It's not going to go very far, but we might as well empty it. There's no point taking 224 litres back to the lake. And whoever owns this field is going to get annoyed with me because I keep driving in their crop. Yeah, I do like this. I like the way you can just sort of drive into there. That's good. And we can turn around and get back into their crop again. I will be popular. There. And the cows do take quite a lot of water, but it won't take all of this. That'd be a serious amount of water. Almost, well, just over half. Yeah, just over half. And that should all be good now. So let's check up on the combine harvester again. How's it doing? Yeah, it's going back up again. Uh, only 38% full. Of course, it is canola, so it's not going to fill particularly quickly. Do we have any soup or anything like that? Okay, deactivate both of those. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to have to actually go over there, I think, just to uh, double check. Nothing here. And the preserved, uh, the preserved one. Let's have a look. One. Okay, well, that's a job for the pickup truck. There's no way we're taking a lorry to sell that. And as there is only one, we couldn't just take it to anywhere. Whichever is closest. We're not going to request the train for that. That would be, that'd be silly. Hopefully the place just over the road there will take it. Of course, we need to activate the super strength. There we 
we go, and we'll find out where the best place is for that, or well, the closest place is for that. Preserved beetroot. Uh, oh, I don't know where these places are. Uh, that, that's close. Of course, the train is the highest, but yeah. Just go over here. Easy. 4,684 pounds, not bad at all. This thing is light. <laughs> it bounces everywhere. Okay, so now it must be time to jump into this tractor, I guess, and yeah, good timing. It's gonna be alongside us. There we go. But definitely a job for the worker. Uh, yeah, I don't need to be uh, going down the field. The worker can do it for us. We can actually start to redrill. So I think we'll do that. Make sure the combine is nice and empty so we can have as much time as possible catching up with the drill. There we go. For now, we'll just leave the trailer here. And we'll go and get it. Right, okay, we're actually uh, running a bit low on seed. We're not running low on fertilizer, and there's tons of fertilizer at the store. Um, but we'll just, yeah, probably just fill it up anyway. I will probably accidentally fill it with fertilizer as it's so close to the seeds, so it doesn't even matter. Yep, <laughs> I knew it would go for fertilizer first. Right, but once that is done, it's going to take seed. Very good. Keep it going. And we are currently set to wheat. Uh, I don't know if wheat is what we want to put in. I guess it can be. The chickens will take wheat. But then we do have other crops, other fields to harvest first, which will give us the feed. Uh, but yeah, let's just go for it. It's a pretty decent working width, and I just love that we can direct drill and put fertilizer in at the same time. Uh, you normally get a drill which either does one or the other. You can direct drill, and you can't put fertilizer in, or you will put fertilizer in, and it won't direct drill. You have to cultivate it first. But this one does both. This one's lovely. Really good for that. I think we're probably going to be able to catch up quite easily, hopefully. And it may be by the time I have caught up with it, it'll be time to reattach to the trailer and go alongside to unload it, but we'll see. Right, well we'll let the uh, combine get ahead, keep catching up with this, 
Uh, we should actually be able to fill this trailer in just a second because the combine is 57% full, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Maybe it's now 58%. Uh, but anyway, yes, that is plenty. That is obviously over half a tank, so it's going to be uh, probably like 125% of this trailer if we could fill it <laughs> over 100%, which obviously we can't. Um, but yeah, certainly filling it to the top. I've got a tickle in my throat. I have to keep coughing. It's alright, nothing contagious. You won't catch anything through the internet. And uh, yeah, it's because I'm talking too much. <laughs> That's the reason why. Anyway, Canola. Uh, where are we taking Canola to? Uh, of course, the train. Where else? It's always the train. So uh, that is actually uh, this place here. Grainpool East. So we shall go to Grainpool East. Sort of gives me an image in my head of a, a swimming pool full of grain. Well, there's a train, but we're not going to request it yet, because obviously we need to get all of the field harvested. Hmm, it does take a while. I should have taken the uh, shortcut, actually. We can take this corner off. But I forgot. There we go. So we'll get our tips, and then we'll head back to the field, and we'll get it finished. Enter the combine for the final time, and also do the drilling. And then that would be that field completely turned around in a very, very short space of time. And then we can sell the canola, and hopefully make quite a bit of money. Have I um, gone beyond the point where you can take the shortcut? No, I shouldn't have done, should I? It's down here. Here it is. Of course, I've put my slower tractor on the trailer. But I don't know if this tractor had enough power for the drill. I don't think it did. So it does have to be the Massey Ferguson on the drill. But it's a good shortcut. Okay, so it's just coming back up. I don't know if it's going to have enough space in the tank to be able to finish. Nope. We're going to have to unload going back up. That's fine. So we'll just leave it to finish and I will uh, do the drilling. We have no rush to actually go and take the green to the train. Okay. We'll just get this moved out of the way. And we can continue with this. Of course that strip there is not a missed piece, that is just where the combine through a load of chaff as it passed. So, yes, th there is seed in there and it will look perfectly fine once the field has germinated. But this should only take, in a time lapse, maybe 40 seconds. So, I will see you when it's time to unload the combine. Okay, done. All done. 16% full, not too much in here at all. And then I think we'll probably be returning the combine because we don't need it for any of the fields as already established. So, um, yeah, the moment that stops emptying, we will return it. There we go. Save the game. 
and yeah it's just so nice that the field is uh, immediately turned around it's efficiency at its best so we get that tipping and we will request the train no idea where it is Where's the? there it is 1.3 kilometers away of course it's never going to be close <laughs> it's never close I know in real life that would be very close but in this game well, I think the furthest away it gets is possibly three kilometres, so yeah, it's it's not a million miles away, well, it's, it's 1.3 kilometres away. I'm digging myself a hole. Here it comes. It's great speed. Perfect, look at that. So into the first one. Looking good. Nice decent amount in there, 29,000 litres. Uh, close the cover and we will be on our way. We're getting paid. Speed and power. Right. About to be thrown out. So, yeah, £60,000. We have 194000 I don't think any of it is uh, the banks. I think we own all of that. Yep, no loan. That's very good to see. So, really, I guess the question is, what do we do next? with our money. Do we buy more land or do we uh, keep saving it? Do we put it into machinery? Quite hard to know what to do for the best. It probably is about time we focus on that area there. It needs to be concreted. Um, it just looks a bit weird because at the moment it's, well, it is a, a, a grain mill and two cow sheds in the middle of a grass field. Well, I suppose it doesn't sound too weird. It looks weirder than it sounds. <laughs> so uh, I want to really create a yard. I don't know, I, I do like the flagstone design on this particular map. So maybe we'll go with that. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that. I don't know how far to go with this. Maybe up to about there. But then what do we do here? Do we just do it at the edge? It's probably going to look weird otherwise. Okay, yeah, that's looking better, more in keeping. It would be good to have a shed across the back here because then we could keep our bales in there. So let's just take a look again in the construction category, sheds, uh, anything like cheap and small. No. Uh, thing is, they're not, like, that's one we've already got. That is good. That's too bulky, is it? Uh, maybe it's not. No, maybe it's alright. As long as it's not just for decoration, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that would be terrible. But yeah, keeping a few bells in here would be good. Uh, obviously a bit of wasted space. It's certainly got wasted space. For gaming purposes, obviously, like in a game, because we don't store stuff. We only want usable space for bales and big things. And that's encroaching, that absolutely waste of space is encroaching into the field. So it's not ideal. Maybe I should have gone for a different one. But anyway, yes, we can put some straw bales and hay bales in there. Side bales can stay outside. That's fine. Uh, so really, yeah, should we bring, should we bring something across? Should we bring some bales across? This machine is slow, but they were better off down there than they would up here. Of course, the straw bales, we should probably just auto load those and take them down there. But just to start off with, I will take the hay bales and put them in the shed. Because this, this really should be just for machinery. This is our machinery yard and that is our livestock yard, so yeah, they don't really belong up here.
Good, that's better. So we're keeping the bales close to where they need to be used, which of course is in that feed mixer. And then it'll be given, given to the cows. Both of the uh, troughs need to have totemic ration because we look after our cows very well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, hopefully, as well, once we get to harvest time again, we're going to be able to deliver things to the grain mill. We have £167,000. Maybe we should also buy another field. We could actually buy the field which I keep driving in. Uh, here. I got lost. <laughs> uh, how much is that? Oh, wow, it takes in all the grass as well. well. That's probably not a good one to go for. Um, yeah, actually, these are huge plots. They take in a lot of grass surrounding them. So I think we'll probably leave that then. We'll keep the money, because I might put it into a machine, or we might buy several plots. I just don't know yet. But I think for today, that will do nicely, because next time, uh, well, we're probably going to have to pass two months so we can actually get another field ready. Or we might just buy that field, like I said, and then harvest that. But we will see. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.